sick of seeing these unboxings and I promise this will be the last one for a while but I really could not resist but let me start off by saying happy Veterans Day Saturday these snakes actually came in on Friday on yesterday but I had so much going on guys I just could not get an actual unboxing done but we I have wanted to, to do what's best for the animals Understand yeah that. they needed to go in an enclosure but um, like I said, Saturday, happy Veterans Day. Uh, guys, our veterans are the reason we're free. So always a uh, big, big shout out to any military guys out there. I've got utmost respect for our military. But guys, yep, Saturday, got some new snakes. As you saw from the intro, and uh, let me do a disclaimer, this box right here was actually empty. I was shaking around in that uh, during the goofy spot. <laughs> But I sure hope you enjoyed that. We have definitely gotten the uh, addiction, the mesmerization. How you want to say it? I don't know. I don't know. But the addiction and the goofy spot, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. I laughed harder than I have laughed in a while. <laughs> guys, since the, uh, the banana and my bumblebee hooked up, you know, I really wanted to increase my odds of getting some really, you know, stellar eggs. And so I put my feelers out. I got to give a big shout out. Trig Reptiles. He's over in California. Guys, I'm really getting a lot of love for these California snake guys. I mean, between yes, for uh, sure. intelligent design. Frank and, Emerald. Yeah, Frank Emerald. <laughs> I mean, just, you know, the... The, the California scene is just popping. The guys are so awesome out there. And for people kind of like us that used to think that all of these darker morphs were the same. Yeah. 
Look at these guys. Big difference. I mean, it really is a huge difference in these two snakes. I have a very pastel. similar, but they are so different, and we're learning a lot, right? We're learning a lot. I mean, it is a never it man. I'm talking about. But the, look at the two of these. I mean, you can actually see. Yeah, there's a a huge difference. Their bodies, their patterns is so crazy. What we've got here, guys, is a black pastel and a pastel. Now, as I said, these come from Trig Reptiles out Hi. in California. You? Since the uh, the male hooked uh -huh. up with the bumblebee, I've been looking and looking for some of age breeding females. And yeah, he's old. Yeah, they're just <laughs> non-existent. I mean, it's just you know to really better our chances, and these are going to be the last ones for a little while, unless there's something really so cool. He says. Unless there's something really cool at the auction that's coming up November fourteenth. It's Don't always forget. another one. And another one, and another one. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> yes, guys. It's if you see fun. the room, you know, a big shout out to my wife for oh, not, yeah. not this kicking This is our out. bedroom now. I forgot to mention that, actually. At the moment. Oh, and it's only temporary, totally guys. Different. I had to, uh, I had to find somewhere for the snake racks and where better than where I could keep my eyes on the best. I actually kind of prefer it this way, though. Yeah, but it's, it's not going to stay this way forever. But, yeah, this is a... Uh, no, we'll probably have, like, another rack on this side and a rack beside that. We'll see <laughs> what goes in the new future. Going down the rabbit hole, guys. <laughs> so, anyway, I put my feelers out. I, I give Mr. Dave Intelligent Design. I shot him a text. I said, hey, man, you think you could just find me maybe a pastel or... Or something else to put, you know, with the, the banana just to, to better our odds at getting some eggs, guys. And man, he texted me right back and hooked me up with Mr. Trig Reptiles. And he said, Yeah, I got two I'd be willing to send you. And I mean, this was on a Thursday. All this transpired in Friday by what, 10, 11, 12 o'clock Friday. It was the next day, literally, we got these snakes. I we, don't know about the times any of that stuff but i know we talked about it one day and the next day we had them so, so here they are guys that's pretty incredible stuff now after talking with trig about the snakes i'm gonna maybe wait till about middle of december or so or right about the end of december to put the uh the banana you know just give them time to settle in give them maybe one or two more feeds we're gonna put them with the banana and see what happens i mean i, I couldn't be more happy I know I've gotten a couple comments, a couple of messages that, oh, you got the bug now. Well, yeah, guys, it's official. I mean, since, like I said, it, it, it really is. It's an addiction. Not just us. Alyssa definitely has the bug. And waiting to see if they she do She has give given me up, eggs. what, the guinea pigs and everything oh, yeah. else. She says she's she, a reptile she wants junkie. A snake. She wants a snake in yeah. a room. All about the snakes. No, but, you know, just to better our odds, guys, to up our chances of actually getting, you know, something that we really, really want out of one of these eggs. I mean, the pastel and the black pastel with that banana, you guys know it could make a really nice combination. And, Man, these snakes are just gorgeous, perfect, perfect. Once again, man, Trig Reptiles, y'all check them out. I'm going to leave a link uh, below to his channel. He does YouTube as well. Just could not be happier with the promptness. I mean, guys, it was just, I was blown away. This was Thursday at like 3.30. And really incredible all stuff. the way from California, I just, but two gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Look at that. There's a good shot. There you go. Uh, gotta love it, guys. <laughs> like I said, I sure hope y'all enjoyed that intro. It was just a, another snake unboxing. I know y'all get sick of my snake unboxings. <laughs> I'm going to do a reptile room tour. Uh, maybe try to get it out by this next weekend. We're going to go through everything that we got. We've got all these new snakes we've then added we in. really clear out our entire schedule for like three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to shoot it. Yeah, yeah. So, just saying. <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of Reptile Room videos, guys, just because it takes so it long. So, so much long. editing on my end, putting <laughs> from clip to clip, so it's not just a long oh. run out, you know. But she's going oh, back. I gotta home. go back in the box. Yeah, she's going back. No, home. out the other side. Yeah, back in the box. 
so pretty. Uh, I love the black, by the way. Beautiful blacks. Yeah. They're just so contrast. We are really learning a lot about the different morphs. I mean, yeah, this is all a, really new to us. So. It's a lot of science, and it's really cool, though. To, oh, my it is. goodness. It's, it's kind of like putting paint together, you know. It's a really... It really definitely gives you a high respect for these the guys that are breeding God, these. Yes, yes. They it's are, I mean, it's, it's insane. It's That's uh, all I'm going to say about that. It's insane. You know, I got to give a shout out to uh, Brian uh, Cusco. He, yes. I love his channel. Uh, and I don't know if I ever say that right. Cusco, Cusco. Cusco. I hope it's Cusco. I love his channel, guys. Cool. <laughs> I've been watching for a long time. He does a lot with these snakes and them, intelligent design, um, you know, Buddy going youper. I mean, there's just so many of them that I've just watched over the, you know, some of them past couple months, some of them years. And it's really sparked that interest, you know. And I mean, you know, guys, go out and give it a try. You never know till you try. I'm not trying to get rich or make a business off of breeding snakes. There's way no. too many of them out there. But but it would be so cool to have the kids there to open yeah, up some eggs. and Just personal enjoyment, yeah. you know. I mean, they the were experience meant, of it would be amazing. I, I know I've said in videos early on that I was not planning on getting into the breeding stuff. And, and we weren't. I, I really, I'm still not trying to, to go huge, but I mean, yeah, with the hog nose and update on them, they're all doing great, guys. I had to assist Aww. feed the two pickies, but He's hog nose is doing good. Box. But it's hey. just such an awesome experience, and she's yeah. trying to go back home. And she is. <laughs> I'm going back in the box. <laughs> Must have been a good home. <laughs> it was. Heat pack was nice and hot. And anyway, I'm rambling, guys. Uh, been a great week. Got a lot of cool snakes, so we got a lot of stuff to bring y'all in the future. Sure, if y'all enjoy these videos, appreciate every each, each and every one of you out there. Um, but unfortunately, at this point, that's all I got. I sure if y'all enjoyed it, got to enjoy seeing the new snakes. Wish us luck. You have a great rest of the weekend. We'll see you soon, guys. Appreciate you.